When I was in year 10, I wrote an essay titled Humans Will Never Live on Mars. I was so proud of it. Like, I was genuinely ready to send it to NASA with a note saying, you're welcome. I laid out every reason why Mars was a no-go zone. Freezing temperatures, deadly radiation, and oh yeah, the complete lack of oxygen. I thought I had smashed it. But here I am, two years later, ready to contradict that entire essay. Now, I know what you're thinking. What happened? Did I get bribed by aliens? No, no. The more I thought about it, the more I realized, if we can create self-driving cars that somehow don't run over pedestrians, 3D printing, and Greg sausage rolls, surely we can figure out Mars, right? OK, let's break it down. Mars, the red planet. Sounds kind of cool, right? Like one of those made-up Star Wars planets. But here's the reality. Mars is basically like living inside of a giant freezer on the worst camping trip of your life. The temperatures? Minus 70 degrees Celsius, so a North Face jacket and a pair of gloves won't cut it. Then there's the radiation. Mars has no atmosphere, so your SPF 50 will be useless. Let me put it into perspective for you. Let's say it's like you're living inside of a microwave, except instead of popcorn, you're the one getting cooked. Now, quick poll. How many of you like breathing? <laughs> Everyone? Good. Well, yeah, Mars, you can't really do that there. There's no oxygen, just carbon dioxide, which is great if you're a tree. But unless you're planning to transform into a plant anytime soon, you're going to need a lot of tech just to stay alive. And lastly, but certainly not least, there's gravity. On Mars, you'd weigh around 38% of what you do here on Earth. Sounds fantastic, right? You'd be bouncing around like a human trampoline, but here's the catch. Your muscles would start to weaken faster than I gave up my New Year's gym resolution. So unless you want to look like a human spaghetti noodle, you're going to have to work out 24-7, with your only source of protein being an excreted mixed grill. Ugh. Now, remember my year 10 essay? The one where I basically said, Mars is a death trap, stay away. Well, despite all the doom and gloom, it turns out I may have been a little overdramatic. Fast forward a few years, and we're actually making some serious progress towards colonizing Mars. And we may be closer than you'd think. Take NASA's MOXIE experiment, for example. It's this nifty little gadget that's literally turning Mars's carbon dioxide into oxygen. Yeah, we're making breathable air on another planet. I mean, I would explain the science behind this mind-boggling concept to you, but I understand that some of you actually want to get home in time for dinner tonight. And let's not forget about Elon Musk. He's basically turning SpaceX rocket ships into Martian Uber rides. But he's not just planning to send a few astronauts. Oh, no. Elon wants to send a million people to Mars in the next 20 years. A million! And I thought getting eight hours of sleep was ambitious. So, why Mars? Sure, it's got a couple flaws, but it's actually our best shot at a cosmic escape plan. We're talking a six-month journey, which is still quicker than some people's daily slog on the M25. <laughs> Plus, Mars has ice at the poles, which means there's water. And when there's water, there's the potential for life. Or as I like to call it, aliens. And let's not forget about cinematic masterpiece, The Martian. If Matt Damon can whip up a gourmet meal made from potatoes fertilized with his own mm, then I'm pretty sure we could figure out how to survive on Mars too. Now, I know what some of you on the front row are thinking. Why blow billions on space exploration when we could just use that cash to tackle problems here on Earth? Totally valid question. But here's the kicker. The tech we whip up for Mars could also help us fix Earth, too. We're talking advanced recycling methods, sustainable energy, renewable farming, the whole shebang. If we can crack code on surviving in the harshest environment out there, we may be able to solve some of our biggest headaches here. Climate change, food shortages, and maybe even the unfixable issue of losing socks in the laundry. 
So, the answer you have all been waiting for. Will humans ever live on Mars? I'm convinced we will. It won't be a walk in the park, and it's not happening tomorrow, but one thing is for sure. When we dare to dream and work together, we can turn the impossible into a reality. Now, here's an idea that I want to leave with you. Let's just all cast our minds back 100 years ago. We couldn't even fly from London to America. And now look at us today, launching rockets from planet to planet. Think about what we could do in another century, from colonizing Mars to teleportation to floating cities to even being able to order takeout from your toilet. <laughs> Mars is just the first step. If we can pull this off, the sky isn't even the limit anymore. It's just the beginning. Thank you.